Oh, get the fuck out of here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I put the 3080 in. Hell yeah. And, uh... I don't know what that means. But I guess it's good. Oh, this is the last fucking level, dude. 3080 is just the I card. Know, that I know. I know. I'm, okay. just, I'm just being a bitch. Okay. I understand that it's bigger, better, badder. Boulder. Boulder. Yeah, so I put that guy in. And, uh... You know, you can see yourself in the reflections on the ground when it rains. You can look yeah, at your yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. While before, nah. Couldn't do it. Now I'm able to play it on, like, high. Not even Epic yet, because it still won't let me play on Epic. But I'm pretty close. That's on pretty, it's pretty fucking crazy, like, how far like games have come in that regard. Yeah. Especially, like, we're... we're like developers are are coming up with that type of thing where it's like you know, hey, we're gonna make it so you can see yourself off the you know the reflection of a, of a puddle that you're walking by. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, it's gotten to that point. And in the grand scheme of things, like honestly, like it's it's crazy the amount of progression, like in the amount of time since like you know, 1985 or something. Oh yeah. You know, like I understand that that's like you know almost. 40 years ago, but, like, still. It's just, yeah, things have progressed so quickly. Yeah. Like, even on, like, phones. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, phones have really progressed. <laughs> like, it's essentially, like, you know, ruined the handheld market for, for like, video games. <laughs> yeah, because the phone is, you know, a phone. Yeah. And... It can fucking, you know... Play video games. That play are pretty, video games. Like, pretty high, thing. high quality. Get the fuck away. You think they would make, like, a... Like, a... Like, I don't know if... Maybe they do, and I just don't know of it. But, like, a game... Or, like, a, or a phone, like, kind of with gaming in mind, you know? Yeah, there is one. It's the Asus phone. Oh, okay. I didn't know Asus made a phone. Yeah. That, it, would, it that is, would do it. It is called the Asus gaming phone. Cool. And, uh, yeah. It's got joysticks and stuff like that. Oh, really? That you can attach onto the uh, left and right. There's actually a cooling system for oh, it. Cool. A little fan that you put on the, the back to keep the whole thing nice and chipper for you. That's for, like, the supreme neck beard and everybody's like. Yeah, it's a very expensive phone. I bet. But you know, sometimes it's worth it. Well, if you want to play your, you know, Candy Crush in 3,000 frames per second, then, you know. Now there's better games than Candy Crush. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I personally I, am not a mobile gamer. I'm not either. So I, I completely agree with your jokes. <laughs> But, uh, I don't. I don't do mobile gaming either. The most. The most that I've done is like that Mario Kart Tour game is pretty fun. I don't. I haven't played it in a long time though, because it's got the 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 typical trappings of a mobile game where they want you to buy the premium currency, and then buy the not premium currency. No, you buy the premium currency for a, a luck based like randomizer. Yeah. To give you fucking loot boxes. Yeah, the bullshit. You know. So, I. Obviously, opt not to do that because why the fuck would you waste your money on something so stupid? Yeah. Some people just have that, you know, need to do that. No, I know. I, I think, I mean, obviously, the people who develop that shit know what they're doing. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like. No, they know, know they know what they're doing too well. Yeah. Well, I, and I know better than to waste money on something as stupid as that. Like, yeah. The $3 that I can spend on that that could give me, like, you know, I don't know, a meal. I could. Get substance to feed my family. Yeah, that's enough or to buy I can buy some Sam's salsa salsa. <laughs> or I could buy myself a nice a fucking diary, bitch. <laughs> a nice tasty. Uh, you can get something off the dollar menu. Uh, uh, five uh, hundred uh, dollars. That's enough to buy me in my video to Hawaii. Oh, someone's arm fell off. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh no! Ooh. Taylor, my arm fell off. 
Oh my god. Oh no. Goo now. I like how they go <laughs> they go real super heavy with the acreage shit at the end of the game, don't they? Yeah. Which is good. Uh, Sup my dude. Did I get him? Oh, oh man. <laughs> did I get did I get him? I like how there's no music here either. It's yeah. just like yeah. We're just murdering. It's because we're supposed to be the bad guys. <laughs> this is America. This is America. Home of the free and barely the brave. Is that how the song goes? No. I have no clue how the song goes. I don't either. Except he goes, this is America. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. I don't know. You gonna fuck somebody? Black man, get your money. Black man, get your money. Black man, get your money. Get that. What are you talking about black man getting his money? It's, it's part of the song. Yeah. It's what he says. And then he's like. Did, did you ever see that white rapper guy? Uh, Tom McDonald. I M think his M name is. No, he's the white rapper guy who will, like deliberately raps about controversial subjects just so people will argue in his comment section. Uh, no. I have not. I heard a little dicky. No, it ain't a little dicky. His, I think his name is Tom McDonald or something I think like that's that. that's what the guy, the Jewish guy, little dicky. Yeah, that uh, that's a dude, but I, I don't really know much about him. I'm talking about Tom McDonald. Yeah. I'm just saying that's who I know. Oh. I have no clue who Tom McDonald is. He, he's... Is he a uh, I, he's, son of Ronald? Maybe. Could be. I don't know. And he, but like I, he's just one of those dudes who will like you know rap about like you know controversial current, well, like current events type shit and oh, okay. like you know it's like his way of expressing his opinion on those things. I don't like it because I think it's really hokey and stupid. But that's just me. Well, Especially, he ain't doing the hokey pokey. I just don't like. I just don't. I don't know. Like because it horribly dates the the thing like yeah. the song then you know. Well, I mean, I, I guess if that's the way he wants to do it, like, it's like Dream, fine. Like, like Dream Theater has a song called The Great Debate, and it's about stem cell research. And it's like, nobody's talked about that and like since that happened. Yeah, because nobody cares. Because <laughs> nobody, yeah, nobody gives a shit. And I just think it's kind of like, okay. Like, I don't know, I think it's kind of hokey, but whatever. When you do the hook, we each, and we each turn do our own. Around, we each do our own. And you art put brain stem cells in your mouth. We do our, our art differently. Yeah. Me personally, the I I I do I do so little art because I'm too good at it. Okay. And every time I make a mistake, I, I have to stop and redo it. So I just never get anywhere. Okay. Some people are like that. <laughs> too many people are like that. <laughs> they they can't they can't live with their failures, so they they just keep trying to fix things until. Well, you can't fix them. Well, that's why, like, I don't know, with, with certain things, like, you know, could I have hold, held out and made the the Majestic Sailors album, like, sound better? Sure. But then it would never come out. Yeah. I'd rather just be If you're out. fighting yourself the whole time. Yeah. Are you really doing it for the music? No, you gotta just push shit out after a while, you know? Yeah. Like, sometimes you're gonna be constipated, mm -hmm. and you need to push shit out. If you don't... You'll get a bacterial infection in your lower gut and you'll die. So, if you have that project that you haven't finished... Hey man, it's your boy Bill. Just telling you all a friendly reminder to take a shit. You take a shit. <laughs> I'm taking one right now. Uh, oh, didn't see you there. Thought I'd lock the door. <laughs> but while you're here, I have a very important message. It just reminds me of the fucking Meat Canyon episode thingy. Which one? The one with Willy Wonka. <laughs> I haven't watched Meat Canyon in a hot minute, so I really don't know. Well, I'll have is to show you the is Willy Wonka. Wonka. Uh, that one's a decent one, one yeah. But you gotta, I gotta show you that Corey Feldman video. <laughs> yes, you don't do. make me forget that. Oh, well. I'll show you Meat Cannon, you show me Corey Feldman, little... Little drummer boy. <laughs> little uh, little black skirt boy. Oh. Um, ba -bum -bum. <laughs> Is it um, hip hop version of Little Drummer Boy? I eat my rectum all day. Uh, -bum -bum. 
You see me crying all day. You don't do anything about it though. You just watch me cry. Why must I cry? Why must I cry? Why? Oh shit! Did I not say? Thank you. It's not a race, guys. This is for the guy who keeps yelling at us. We you know they they stuff. um <laughs> they they re-released the uh, Scott Pilgrim game. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. It came it came out of hell. Yeah, I like because well, it was like some kind of. I think it had something to do with the rights or something. That's why they had to like remove it from the store. Like they lost the licensing or something. I mean, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, they they now re-released it on. Uh, I don't know if it's on like PlayStation or whatever. I don't know yet. I really I haven't looked into it because I really don't care. But it's on PS4. It's a it's a it's a good game. I like that game quite a bit. Wasn't it a beat 'em up? Yeah, beat 'em up. Uh huh. But it was a good one. It was a fun one. Beat them up, up, Because you could, like, you know, get, um, you would get loonies and toonies and you would be able to go into stores and buy stuff, like, to upgrade your character. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of Scout Pokemon stuff on my feed lately. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, uh... I wonder why. It's scenes from the movie drawn as the... As the comic? As the comic. Uh Or would that technically be scenes from the comic? Drawn in the movie? Like just with the movie's movie. voice actors. Yeah, probably that. I think a lot of the stuff in the comics came over from, like, into the movie. Or, like, in some form or another. Some of it got changed, but... Yeah, because someone animated the, uh... Scott and Ramona eating g- garlic bread and... Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty I sure that's... rider coming over and <laughs> riding his, uh, his face. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure... Um, that happened, right? I'm, well, I'm just going to say, I'm pretty sure that's on the, the books. I have the books. Oh, so there's a scene where I don't think she writes Scott and, in the book. Scott and Ramona are sitting there, and then Winona Ryder comes out of nowhere and rides Scott's face. Why is Winona Ryder in the situation? I don't She's know. Not in the fucking movie. That's why I was weird. <laughs> Someone out a rider in the animation or whatever. Yeah, she, yeah, she's there and she's just riding his face after he says, "Garlic bread makes you fat." <laughs> and then it, I think you bread. know. I feel like maybe it was just a porn. Can you send me the link to that one? <laughs> I'd like to check it out. It's real right now. Why well, not? Just, you know, I just want to cross-reference it with the movie. Yeah, you, you know, know, it could just be in the book. I don't, I don't know. I got to check. Well, certain things, like the one thing that I remember them changing was remember how in the movie they touched the, the back of the one girl's knees to make her come, come and explode herself? Yeah. In the book, I remember that. it's actually um, Envy Adams that has that, not, oh. not the evil not, X. Okay. So stuff like that gets changed. Most of it is relatively intact, but they might have repurposed certain things and then, like, you know... You'd be surprised, actually, how much of the script is the exact same from the books, though. You know like, what? I'm not too surprised, because it's a. it seems like a, a really solid, like, yeah. shit. Well, like, the opening scenes where they're like, you know... Um, Scott Pilgrim is dating a high schooler, and then they're like, "How long have you been out of co- uh, school? Or high school for twelve years?" And he's like, "I'm 22. 22. Like that's straight from the books. <laughs> like it, it's exactly like verbatim, like from the books, pretty much. It's a good movie. Yeah, you should good watch movie. that. I mean, we used to have a, that was our annual tradition to watch it every year, and yeah. we just haven't done it. Yeah, because traditions are meant to be broken, Taylor." Um, That's how we got into this mess in the first place, is tradition. Okay. Um, Just because you didn't fucking... (laughs) Really just sour the mood. You know, there's there's another book that Brian Lee O'Malley did that I bought. Uh, It's called Seconds. Seconds. And that one's actually pretty good. I I feel like that would be a good movie if they adapted it into a... Like, if they took it and adapted it into a film. Because it's, you know, obviously kind of in the same style. Yeah. But it's about this girl who has a... A restaurant, and then she's trying to build a new one. And then, um, kind of the whole draw of it is like she. Is there no sound here? The yeah, okay. what the fuck is happening? <laughs> she um, she comes across these mushrooms inside of her her building or something, 
with like a little notebook that says like write down what you wish you could do and uh, eat a mushroom, go to bed, and then the next day your wish will be true. Um, and then that, uh, like, she, so she does that, and it kind of leads to to w weird shit happening, you know. Makes sense. So like that's kind of the whole like draw of it. But it's actually really, it's a really good story. Um, and after I read it, I remember see, like thinking to myself, like this could easily be adapted into a film if they wanted it to be. I think it would work really well, but yeah. I don't think they're ever going to do it. But it looks a couple years old at this point. Oh, well, you know, we can just leave right now if you want, or if you want to continue to fight everything. <laughs> well, yeah, let's just leave. You want to just leave? Okay, yeah, let's <laughs> just go up here. See you later. Is an exit? We'll just end it as soon as we can. We're speed running this final level. I think this is the last section until the last section. This last level kind of like I don't want to say it sucks, but it's kind of like eh. yeah, because there's it's not. They're not giving us enough like extra boomage, but yet they're making us kind of fight through some enemies that are soaking. Uh, yeah, Ahsoka. It would have been cool actually. There was the one part where like the the sand crawler guys come in with the thing yeah. if you do it right. Um, we didn't obviously do that though just no. now, but whatever. No, we, we want. We want to just get this. We went quick and dirty. <laughs> we want to get this nightmare over with. <laughs> the first time we played through this game on Chinstrap, I believe it was like thirty some odd episodes. Yeah. Um, this one is not going to be nearly as long, but that's okay. I don't really care. I think I think we went longer in these ones though. Yeah, I think we went 30 minutes instead of... Like 20 to 5 to 30, yeah. 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 Instead of going 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, the other ones were minutes. like... The other ones were like, yeah, like 15, maybe. Sometimes we're like... Some of them were even like 10. Like, there's some of them really short. Because normally we would do like a, a single, you know, thing. Single area at oh. a time. Yeah. There's... I don't know. But I that's just, not good for the YouTube algorithm. I, I, I just remember when we did it, though. Like, I think there was a couple of videos from our aver original like playthrough of it that we kept, and then we ended up redoing all of it because uh, we were just complaining in the later half of the game. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, this this isn't very entertaining. So we we scrapped redid all of it. it. We, yeah, we scrapped it and redid it. Like now we're just complaining about other things. Yeah. Well, you know, times are different. Yeah. This isn't 2013 anymore. No. Last of Us isn't new anymore. What else happened in 2013? I think that's when the... No, 2015, I think, was when the new Jurassic World movie came out. God. I'm really beginning to lose track of my, my time and also. Like, I know you've been saying it several times, like, holy shit. Has it been that long since this happened? Since that happened? Yeah. It's like, yeah it I'm still been. waiting on the newest Jurassic World Dominion it's going to come out. Yeah, but they're guilty of voter fraud, Billy. They can't release the movie with that name. <laughs> Dominion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting sued for that. Yeah, well, Ju yeah, Giuliani's getting sued, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he got sued, and then... And then uh, and the, other, the other lawyer lady, whatever her name yeah, is. Yeah, uh, fucking... Theresa May. <laughs> I don't know where her name is. Dave... <laughs> Dave and Chuck the Freak. <laughs> They're getting sued for defamation? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, that's just oh, life now. Jesus. If you're not getting sued, you're not doing it right, Taylor. If you're not getting sued, then you're probably being rational. Yeah, and we don't play rational games here. No, I guess not, huh? Oh, I fart. I'm sorry. Oh, I exploded. You know, because this lava is made out of the stuff that heals us, this this becomes pretty trivial. Yeah, the yeah. only thing that can kill you is one shots. Yeah, on his, on his like little laser thingy that he shoots out with one shot you. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, I don't know. I just got fucking knocked. Yeah, he knocked me too, but he knocked me up gonna have to pay alimony. <laughs> I'll take it in tea energy, please.
Yeah, this part, like, I don't know, it's weird because it's like, I guess this is like the defense mechanism that the giant monster at the end has. I guess. Yeah. It shoots goo everywhere so that people can't touch it. Yeah. Can't touch it. But it's just like, I don't know, man. Shut up. They could have done something more interesting with this whole thing, I think, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ending of this game is weird. Ow, you It's good and bad all at the same time. It's like the room of video games. Good and bad. You know another game that came out that I don't remember coming out at all? Was the fucking, uh... The new Amnesia game. Oh, yeah. That came out. What was it Machine of Pigs or something? No, no. There's another one. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. Oh. That's just the only other one that I remember. It's a new one, and it's Sutton, like, Egypt almost, or something like that. I remember hearing about it. I've never seen it. I've, I've never played those games. Yeah. I liked the first oh one a lot. Oh, my God. Jesus I barely Christ. watched the second one. Because I wasn't very interested in it, but yeah. then like yeah. this new one's out, and I was interested. Oops. But then I totally forgot. Wrong button. To look it up. Button. That's all. That's a thing. There hasn't been a lot of games recently that I've been really into. I I, I just I've been kind of like wanting to go back and do some older stuff. Like I've been playing Last of Us again, Last of Us Two, because I, I enjoyed playing that game and I had a good time. The Last of Us Group. Um, but outside of that, I don't know. I played Doom Eternal. Oh, I did Life is Strange 2. How uh, was that? Eh. I didn't like it as much as the first one. Is it because it doesn't have Cloaca in it? <sighs> I wonder if she could be in it, actually, because at the beginning of the game, you choose whether or not you saved Arcadia Bay or not. So it might impact how... You know, yeah. who's in it. Because you see David Madsen, like her stepdad later on. Okay. He's only in like one little part of the game, but it's like... And then he's like, yeah, my stepdaughter got killed by some asshole in the bathroom. And it's like, you know... It's like, oh, huh, okay. The one thing I give them credit for is that they they have way more endings than the first game had. You know, the first game was pretty much a binary ending. Yeah, it was one or... You know, yeah. Did you leave with Chloe? Did you not leave with the, Chloe? The um, Life of Strange 2 kind of has like, I think it has like seven or eight different endings. And those different endings kind of like, um, <laughs> they... Oh yeah, that's right. There's two of these fuckers. There's little like offshoots of like, you know, there there's like, there might be small details different between the two, but like they're essentially the same, you know, like one character is present, one isn't, that type of thing. But there, there's at least enough different endings that, like, you know, that are radically different from one another. Um, I give them credit for that. But what I, I felt that the game was very, uh... It didn't hinge upon your choices or your actions as much. Like, it does, but it doesn't. Because, like, the whole game... Like, you know how in the first one, like, you're kind of at a school and, like, you can kind of forge, like... Kind of like these, like... Friendships? Half-assed friendships with certain people. Yeah. Like, there's none of that in number like, two. Like, you could save Kate Mill Milligan? Yeah. There's none of that in number two because you're, like, on the run from the cops the whole game. I remember so, I didn't save her. Yeah, I know. I also didn't save What's-Her-Face. Alyssa? Yeah, from getting, uh... Getting her getting fucking face blown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't save her either. She spilled paint on me. Yeah. Oh, Victoria. And then I, Victoria. Yeah, Victoria. Yeah. And then I spilled paint on her. And then I, I just never forgave her. God I damn it, dude. I fought her to the very end. I, <laughs> I, I, I tried saving her right at the last moment. She's like, fuck you. You don't even know me. Well, that was it. It was like because you were mean to her at the beginning, she wouldn't trust you at the end. Well, that's fine because I, I don't care about her. She can die for all I care. And I still feel the same. But yeah, number two, it was fine. It was fine. I, I really wasn't as invested in it like when I was the first one. And I think, I don't think that's necessarily the game's fault. It could just be that, like, in 2015, I was more into that type of shit where I was playing Telltale games and stuff. And Back now, when Telltale was still in business. Yeah, and now I just, like, you know, I don't really give two fucks about those t types of games. They finally did 
like you know, uh, Walking Dead season three or whatever yeah. to end it out, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> like, yeah, I stopped playing season two. Yeah, I, I mean, I played. I think I played the first two seasons, and it's like it's cool. I play. Yeah, I, I did play the season two actually. Never mind. Yeah, because you play as Lee in the first one, and then you play as Clementine in the second one. Yeah, they call me Clam the Clapper. So I got clap money. Is it just the one now? Yeah, it's just the one. Okay. I was just cleaning okay. up all these fuckers. <laughs> See, this is this is like the effect of this ending level, as we're just not even like really paying attention to what's happening. <laughs> this is talking about other video games. <laughs> other better video games. Yeah, it just shows that you know there's no interest. Well, yeah, it's just, I don't know, like, the the fight with, like, the all of the acrid and, like, the snow field is cool, because it's just, like, you know, there's, like, this, the haze and everything. We're fucking, I'm dying a lot in this right now, by the yeah. way. <laughs> I don't know, like, there's something cooler about that than there is with this whole, like, goo nest thing. I don't know. Oh, your rocket's ricocheting, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, the goo nest, the goo nest isn't as a, uh, isn't as interesting in my opinion. Nah, it's the least interesting goo. Yeah, it's just a, like a weird eye thing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is this the level we're gonna have to restart? <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> if it is. Ugh. I'm just gonna. A I'm just no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna axe this episode and use that one <laughs> instead because <laughs> we're t we're not talking about anything interesting in this. <laughs> nothing. Just, nothing will top Sam salsa. Just like just like Asura's wrath. We're just phoning it in at this point. <laughs> you know. What? Yahoo! Yippee! Oh man, it's only been twenty-seven minutes. Should we just keep going, or do you want to cut it? Fuck you. <laughs> you ever thought about that, Taylor? Oh, this is the ending. Let's just do it. <laughs> this will be the... I mean, the finales are usually longer anyway, right? So yeah. fuck it. Let's just go. Hurry, Taylor. Hurry. This is, yeah, this is the ending. Let's just do it. Now, the same thing applies here. We have to dodge his... His, uh, his goo. His goo piles. Are there fucking... Are there data posts here? I think there's one. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I don't think there's any. Oh, no, here's one. Yeah, there's one. Activate every data post if there is any. Oh, I remember this shit. Attach the GPS. That's dumb. Do you remember this? Yeah. It's worse on two-player, because you have to do two of them. You can't just do one. Like, in, in single-player, it'd just be one. But now you gotta do two. I'm just doing, uh... I'm getting all these because we need the yeah. <laughs> need the lives, so to speak. So here it is, Sam Salsa. <laughs> here this it is, is. This is where Sam Salsa's is salsa made. is uh is, Sam's is salsa's <laughs> salsa is made. And so uh, the systems are in place for Sam Salsa Salsa. <laughs> As you can see, we refine the salsa by putting it in this goo monster. <laughs> <laughs> the goo monster Make sure that the, the salsa stays sweet, salty, and savory all at the same time. <laughs> the three S's of Sam Salsa Salsa. Sweet, savory, Sa and salty. Sweet, sweet, salty. God damn it. Fuck. Sweet, salty, and savory. Sweet. The three S's of Sam Salsa Salsa. There's also sweet, a fourth one. Savory and salmonella. I was going to say, there's a fourth one, and it's salmonella. <laughs> I think he's coming down. Okay, okay, okay. Look uh -huh. We already got number one. We already got number one. All right, I got number one. So now we gotta. Get, you gotta do one. So you gotta shoot it to where it gets all caramelized or whatever. Fuck you. So yeah, you gotta just keep shooting one, and then he'll come down, and then you go up to it and hit circle. And that's how you do it. Which goo are you shooting? Which goo are you going? This one over here? Alright, I'm going to help you do that one. It's a really, like, disappointing boss battle, because it's just an amorphous goo pile, first of all. So it's not like a cool monster. Yeah. And then even then, like, 
you don't even directly kill it. Like, it's a laser that gets shot at it, like, from space. Suck my goo. Yeah, get that goo. Yeah, you... <laughs> that's what you want. You want to get all caramelized and shit. Yeah, you see, you gotta... You gotta agitate the salsa to make sure <laughs> that it, uh... Right now, we're tenderizing it. Watch, he's yeah. gonna shoot. Watch how he's gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. Oh, I think it's... I think it's happening. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. So run up to it. Get up here. Yes, yes, yes. And you gotta hit circle. Yeah! Alright, we just beat the game. Yeah, now just run away. Yeah, come with me this way. Go! Isn't there a second part where we have to do it again? Yeah, it comes back alive, but then the space station crashes into it, so we don't have to do anything, really. Oh, okay. We just have to survive. Sometimes you need to crash a space station into Sam Salsa Salsa <laughs> to keep make sure that it doesn't get too viscous. We uh, we put it on this alien go. planet because uh, blink of an eye. Yeah, we did it very quickly. <laughs> if you don't put Sam Salsa Salsa, so you know how I said that Sam Salsa Salsa is on Sa and space Saturn. We have an adjacent uh, facility the where the salsa where the salsa stuff. is manufactured. In the salsa saloon. In the salsa saloon. <laughs> it's energy. It's sweet and savoriness are going off the charts. We're going to have to crash the space station of flavor into it. <laughs> so we have a flavor packet on the space station, and this is the only it's way. Huge. This is the only way to get it. It's the only way to get it in there. We had to. We have. Men on the on the ground site uh, shooting salsa packets into it. Little little flavor salsa packets into the goo, and then uh, we we shoot the big flavor one out of a space station, and then the guys pick it up in jars. <laughs> we have lots of jars on standby. All these soldiers are shooting the sweetness into the salsa <laughs> with. <laughs> Sweetness shooters. <laughs> <laughs> we call them SSers. Sweet, sweet shooters. Sweet shooters. It's uh, the thing is, it's really weird. The sauce is not very sweet. It's a little sweet. Not it's actually very. Sweet. It's actually very sour. Yeah, so it's a very sour salsa. But we call it sweet just to trick you. <laughs> Sam's sweet sour. <laughs> Sam's sourly Sam's sweet salsa. Sam's salsa sweet and sour salsa. That's that's our new our new hit one, Sam's Sam salsa sweet and sour salsa. It's good for chicken. <laughs> that's what it says on the label. It's good for chicken and salmon. But don't put it on salmon because salmon is gross. Salmonella excluded. <laughs> we omit the salmonella. Except for on the chicken. And the Sam sweet and sour salsa. Sam salsa, sweet and sour salsa. Sal sal oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can put the controllers down. There. We don't need to. We don't need to do anything for this. I want to see my wings coming off. I want to see my salsa, screaming salsa. <laughs> ah, I see all the uh, salsa collectors are coming in. This is. <laughs> Thing that he's a dude holding on. He's like, right now, they're sweet things. Ah! It gets fucking taken away. <laughs> he gets back up after all that. And all right, now, believe it or not, that went according to plan. <laughs> all right, well, let's try it out. There's a little problem. This is super sweet salsa. We're gonna have to name it <laughs> Sam Salsa Super Sweet Salsa. Super sweet, actually salsa. <laughs> totally salsa. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, I don't like it. I don't like it. it tastes <laughs> terrible. Let's do it over, guys. <laughs> right, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Next planet. <laughs> In the salsa mines. Oh my! I'm sure there's a moon orbiting Saturn that starts with an S. 
Sagittarius Hill. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me look at the Jupiter's moons. <laughs> I thought I was sad. I yeah, whatever. Fuck. The thing with this whole ending, too, is that there was never, like, a continuation of what happens at the end. Like, I I get, like, the energy crisis is over, but then does that just mean that everybody's just, like, cool with each other now, I guess? Apparently. Um, there's a couple ass ones. Okay. There's... They're, they're smaller, it looks like. Uh, since Sianak, there's Sakithi, um, Sutinger, and then there's like S2007, S3, uh, scroll, a skull. Yeah, that's where, that's where it is, skull. S K O L L. That's, that's gonna be the easiest fucking one to pronounce. Skull. Oh, oh, it's all salsa. <laughs> We've done it, guys. <laughs> the sea is salsa. <laughs> we have created the first salsa planet. <laughs> Sam Salsa's super sweet sea of salsa on Saturn's moon skull. <laughs> Come to the space station, <laughs> take a shuttle down to the surface, grab yourself a chip in the salsas <laughs> with some of Sam's salsas, sweet and sour sea of salsa. <laughs> It'll make you fucking come. You're gonna come in your pants. You're gonna be shitting salsa. <laughs> I have a sleep. I need some fucking salsa. <laughs> You're gonna have semen coming at your fucking ass. Yes, sir, you when you eat this some fucking salsa. <laughs> These ads are very aggressive. I don't know if I agree. <laughs> Does not make me want their salsa, quite frankly. <laughs> are you really sure you don't want to try just a bite of Sam's salsa salsa that <laughs> will make you fucking cum? <laughs> No, it'll make you spooge. <laughs> it will you will fucking spooge all over the place <laughs> after you take a a nice fucking chip and dip it in the sea of salsa. <laughs> oh my god. It'll cure your sickness. Uh, <laughs> cure your sickness. It'll cure your salmonella. <laughs> oh god. Now what I've here is just like Well, we we're gonna need to get some jars. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> everyone, everyone takes off all their space suits and starts getting jars. And just... I like how everybody's just cool with each other now. Like we've been yes. fighting this whole time, and now that like this amorphous goo monster is dead, like, well, yeah, we're cool now. Hey, I mean, it would probably work for like a good couple hours, and then people would be like, "But those goddamn wings! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need them coming off." It is this. me, Sam Salsa. <laughs> I'm my <laughs> my single leg fucking. It's a glider, okay? <laughs> It's a stingray glider! I can't come up with this one! Fuck you! Fuck. Get out of here! <laughs> I fly over my sea of salsa to make sure that there's nothing contaminating it. <laughs> it's a sea of salsa. There's probably a lot of contaminants. That shit is fucking incredible! Fuck the S's! Smell it from here! Fuck the S's, but this is amazing! <laughs> this shit's great! I'm gonna be so fucking rich! I'm gonna make so much fucking money. None of you will know. <laughs> I'm gonna be a septillionaire. 
the galaxy's first septillion air. The Sam salsa with his salsa. His salsa planet. Go Ozawa Poo get hero. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tomohito gotcha. You wanna run that by me again? Ishihara. <laughs> Uh, well, there you go. There's our <laughs> revisited playthrough of Lost Planet 2. This episode was long, but who cares? <laughs> it was the ending, the, the, the finale. The finale is always long. You so know, it was, it was the finale we deserved. It's not the one that you wanted, but it's the <laughs> one that we deserved. <laughs> I don't think anybody could have predicted the whole Sam Salsa saga. No, I, don't. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think... I didn't think anybody saw that coming. So, <laughs> all from because two S's on, <laughs> on a mission like three missions ago. Yeah, I know. We, it's just two S's. Just Sam Salsa, <laughs> and that's where it started. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say any more fucking S words. Okay, <laughs> I really want to stop. Then stop. I can't. I can't stop. Why not? Because the S is a prominent letter in the English <laughs> lexicon. I guess so. Ooh. Deb. Thank you, Deb. You rocked, you rocked it out. <laughs> Undercase Deb. <laughs> yeah. It must have not been that important. Jokey Kim. Michael Gooney. Well, anyway, what did you, what did you think of our, our replay through of Lost Planet 2? Uh, it was surprisingly a lot harder <laughs> than it was in the past. Did we pay attention more? Is it because we had a bigger screen and I could see more? Probably. <laughs> That's my, my main assumption. I don't know. Is it, uh, maybe. Because uh, we're, we're, we're playing on like uh, probably like a good 8 inches, maybe maybe 10 inches. Of uh, screen real estate each. Yeah, they could have made the screens a little bit bigger, probably. Yeah, because there's so much black space. Yeah, it's because of the fucking the the stupid like radars. Like I, yeah. I get having to have them, but you could have probably made the. You the could have scrunched that all in the corner. Yeah. Made it longer. Gave us a better depth of field. Something. I don't know. Whatever. We persevered. We did it. <gasps> we. Yeah. Skip this. Cool. All right, so Prevail. Uh, probably don't get anything cool for being the game. Nope. Amber. <laughs> it did say we unlocked everything, I guess, so. <laughs> okay. What would Sam Salsa's middle name be? I don't know. We'll find that out next time on Chinstrap Traps. How about that? <laughs> I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs>